Imagine you're running a pizza joint and you've created a basic pizza to help create other pizzas on demand. Now if a customer walks in and orders a veggie pizza, you can add the vegetables and assemble that from the basic pizza. Similarly, if someone wants a pepperoni pizza, you can also assemble that from the basic pizza. The pizza joint is the Flutter project from where you can dish out apps. The basic pizza is the common app you developed for a certain use case. And the veggie pizza and pepperoni pizza are flavors of the common app that are tailored for your customers. Flutter flavors are built configurations that you can use to create different apps from the same code base. For example, you already created an app for a pizza joint and wanted to create another app with a similar interface for a coffee shop. Or if you had a global app and wanted to create a variant of the app for a specific country with a different default language, API URLs, and payment methods. For the same reason, flavors are also beneficial in engineering teams that use different environments. For example, the backend may be using separate databases and servers for testing and production. To get started, open up your Flutter project and add Flutter launcher icons and Flutter flavorizer packages to dev dependencies. Flutter Flavorizer will help us build flavor files without touching the native settings, whereas Flutter Launcher icons will help us create the launcher icons for our flavored apps later. Now scroll to the bottom of the file and add the settings for flavors. You can find this in Flavorizer's official documentation as well. We're going to create two apps, one for a pizza joint and another for a coffee shop. So I've changed the settings like that, but feel free to change them according to your flavors, app names, bundle and application IDs. I am using VS Code, so I will add the IDE configuration and set it to VS Code, which will help us generate debug configurations for all the flavors. If you're using Android Studio, you can use the IDEA keyword. Now go to the terminal and run dart run flutter underscore flavorizer to run the package and build all the flavor configurations. The package created Android, iOS, macOS as well as debug configurations so we can run both flavors directly from the IDE. With coffee debug selected, press F5 and the app will start running. Close the app and select pizza debug, then press F5 again and the pizza app will start. We've created two apps, but let's take a look at what's happening. The bundle and application IDs we specified in bobspec.yaml will create two different apps. This is because in order to upload to the App Store or Play Store, we need unique bundle and application IDs. The flavorizer package generated these files inside the lib folder. When we run the debug coffee build, the control first goes to main underscore coffee dot dart and sets the flavor to coffee. Then runner dot main is called which is inside the main dot dart file. The main dot dart file then calls the app constructor which which is inside the app.dart file. The app widget has the material app widget and wraps the flavor banner around the home page. The home page is inside the pages directory and contains logic to display flavor specific content. These variables come from the flavors.dart file which holds all the in-app flavor specific content. I'd like to use a different base URL as well as a different image for both the flavors. We can do that by setting up the base URL variable like the title and also the image URL. Now go to the home page and wrap the center widget with a column, then add a text widget that displays the base URL. For the image, use a sized box with decorated box, give it a border radius of 16 and a box fit of cover. Now go to the run and debug tab and make sure coffee debug is selected, then run it. You should see that the base URL and image of coffee has been rendered. Similarly, you can do the same for the pizza app and see the configurations reflected on the app. Let's create different app icons for Android, iOS, and the web. To do that, add your desired image to the assets folder, ideally with the name coffee, and then create a file named Flutter Launcher Icons Coffee.yaml. Set Android, iOS, and web generations to true, give the image path, and set remove alpha iOS to true so that your app doesn't get rejected by the App Store. Now run the flutter launcher icons command in the terminal to generate the launcher icons. Repeat the same steps to generate icons for the pizza app. Make sure to append the YAML files with dash flavor name dot YAML because that's how the launcher icons are created according to flavors. If we run both the flavors on Android, we will see that the flavor icons worked. If you want to get rid of the annoying background, you can take a look at this tutorial, link in the description. Now let's run it for iOS, but the icons are the default ones. We have to do some manual settings to make it work. Navigate to the iOS folder, right click and open it in Xcode. 
Then click on Runner, Build Settings, and Search Asset. Under the heading of Primary App Icon Set Name, change all the flavor related names. Make sure asset underscore prefix variable is referenced at the end separated by a dash. Changing this for both flavors in debug profile and release will ensure that the app icons change for every build type. With this, we're done with flavors and app icons, but I want to teach you everything, so let's learn how to set up Firebase for flavors in 2024. You need to have Firebase CLI installed, and you should be logged in to your Firebase account for this to work. If you don't know how to do that, watch the first three chapters of this short video, link in the description. Create a Firebase project for the coffee flavor. Go to Terminal and run Flutter Fire Configure. Then name the project Coffee-Flavor, or whatever you want. And once it says Firebase project has been created, hit Ctrl plus C to terminate the process. Then run this command. Notice that the project argument has a recently created project ID application and bundle IDs for the coffee flavor and the output file has been changed to append underscore coffee to it so that the other flavor files don't mix. Once generated, go ahead to pubspec.yaml, add firebase core, then go to main underscore coffee dot dart and add widget flutter bindings dot ensure initialized and the firebase init code. Do the same for the pizza flavor. We created two firebase projects for coffee and pizza. This will help us track both flavors and separate firebase and Environments. For integration with more third-party solutions, you can add them to your flavors.dart file. For example, adding Datadog, Mixpanel, or CleverTap, and then you can initialize them in the main flavor files. Keep in mind not to run flutter flavorizer command again as it will overwrite your existing settings. For safety, remove the flavorizer package from dev dependencies. You can now run your flavors on Android, iOS, and web. As always, the source code link will be in the description if you want the Firebase settings, you have to generate them on your own. Let me know how much you learned from this video in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.